is happening in the world? Today's June 27th. My name is Reagan, the Doom Wizard, and here are your past week's headlines. But first, a Jaeger bomb, shall we? And some meat sauce. Meat sauce. Sugar free is better. We began the week with Macron's centrist coalition didn't push through the needed votes to stay in power. Amazon has yet to recognize a union formed on Staten Island, and they're going to try to abolish them, essentially, claiming that they used unfair practices and intimidation to convince the workers that they actually had rights and some vacation hours. Can't miss this. We always squabble about the stupidest issues, like, for some reason, the elites think that we should care about Amber Heard and... Roe versus Wade, which I guess is, you know, a big deal considering it's been like 50 years, but who cares? Biden gave his remarks. Nobody cares. An Englishman won the U.S. Open. His remarks were, I just love winning. You'll just love losing soon, as we all will. China cashes in on cheap Russian oil. Impossible. Booyah! <laughs> this, this kick's like a meal with his balls wrapped in duct tape. Wow! Tight, 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 yeah! And a travel nightmare at airports nationwide due to staffing shortages and bad weather. Because climate change isn't real. Wait, what's this? A 14 year old boy arrested for raping a woman in Hollywood? What? what? Biden considering a federal tax holiday, which means it'll save you 18 cents a gallon. Or not. You'll just pay more. Gunfire at a Juneteenth celebration, and Cambodia lands the world record freshwater catch. 18 dead in India at least, Bangladesh floods and millions without homes. Canada is going to spend $5 billion over the next five years to upgrade its NORAD missile detection systems. A eh? pipeline keeps burning in Arizona, and a 3,400-year-old city in Iraq emerges underwater after an extreme drought. The temperature in Iran actually reached 126 degrees Fahrenheit, which is the hottest recorded on Earth this year. Moving on, this Jaeger bomb's hitting me. Doom Wizard likes to get crunk. Shocking images have emerged from New Zealand showing millions of once velvety brown sea sponges bleached bone white. The worst mass bleaching event of this type ever recorded, marine scientists say. But how about them Razorbacks? And some barbecue! And also, did you know that Arkansas was the least patriotic state? A great majority of Americans have either been affected by extreme weather in recent years, and many suffered long-term financial problems as a result, according to a new nationwide study conducted by NPR, the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, and the Harvard T. Chan School of Public Health. I don't know why I wrote that. More than three-quarters of adults in the United States they have say they've experienced extreme weather in the last five years, including hurricanes, wildfires, blah, blah, blah. And most people who suffer major weather damages or financial problems do not receive any money from the federal government. That's right, folks. If a hurricane, because of human-induced climate change, which we all perpetuated, no one's going to be there to save you. Not even the government. Random facts time. Psychiatric drugs do not improve disease or reduce mortality. Nasir Giami says, quote, Most psychiatric medications are purely symptomatic with no known proven effect on underlying diseases. There are like 50 variations of aspirin used for fever or headache rather than drugs that treat the causes of fever or headache. I actually just got off my dose of uh, antidepressant and I feel great. No, you Most psychiatric drugs have not been proven and in properly and properly designed randomized trials to improve the course of any illness their purpose purported to treat. Specifically, they have not been shown to prevent hospi hospitalization or extend life, as many clinicians believe. We don't have a miracle pill, but we might be solving aging, you know, that's a disease. We can age slower, whatever. Elon's transgender daughter has filed a request to change her name in accordance with her new gender identity because, quote, I no longer live with or wish to be related to with my biological father in any way, shape, or form. Sure, she has tons of money to keep doing that. Biden traveled to Germany for the G7 and NATO. The topics of discussion will be Ukraine and climate change. China's iconic floating restaurant capsizes at sea. Shame, never been there. Goldman Sachs raises recession probability to 30%. But... The stock market hasn't priced in a recession just yet, and if it does, the S&P could fall another 23%, Morgan Stanley says. 
<clears throat> the S&P could fall below 3,000 if a recession hits, Morgan Stanley's chief uh, investment officer said on Tuesday. But then scoot on over to Florida, and there's a panic button for teachers that costed $2 million. Canada is banning single-use plastics by the end of the year. Whoop-dee-doo. Samsung has a whopping 50 million units stuck in distributor stock. Will be quite in handy as the collapse ensues. You know, to watch porn on, I guess. Scientists say climate change is a factor behind erratic and early rains that triggered unprecedented floods in Bangladesh and northeastern India, killing scores and making lives million miserable for millions of others. Although the region is no stranger to flooding, it typically takes place later in the year when, when monsoon rains are well underway. However, U.S. military captures top ISIS leader in Syria, and a 5.9, or was it 6.1, earthquake hits Afghanistan, kills more than 1,000 people, injuring 1,000 others in a remote region. Shame. Next week, the U.S. Navy plans to conduct a tabletop war game to assess how climate change might affect conflicts. The decision follows a plan released last month that committed the branch to net zero emissions. Guys, net zero emissions for the Navy. Tell me, are we in the twilight zone? Hundreds of thousands evacuated from floods in South China as well, and skin mites are merging with us on our face. So reliant, the defolicorium. Let me try that more time. So reliant is the defollicolorum on humans for their survival. New research suggests that the microscopic mites are in the process of evolving from an ectoparasite to an internal symbiote, venom, and one that shares a mutually beneficial relationship with its host. That's us. In other words, these mites are gradually merging with our bodies so that they now live permanently with us. There are probably a thousand bugs and a hair. Thou there are probably a thousand bugs on my microscopic parasites on my foot right now. Just hanging out, living in their own city. Zuckerberg shows off VR headset designed to be indistinguishable from reality. Omicron subvariants BA4 and 5 just scared to appear to escape any body response among both people who have had previous COVID infection and those who have been fully vaccinated and boosted. It's getting around. You could still have concealed carry in New York, I think. But then they're trying to overturn that. I don't know what the status of the gun laws are anymore, guys. It's so confusing. I can't keep up. Either you can carry or you can. I mean, that's there's too many people. Whatever. Trump t tried to overturn the results, but we knew this already. I keep saying it every week. Job market holds strong. Annual soldier ride at the White House. Biden said he thinks the troops. And Germany su triggers a... Gus supplies alarm stage. Basically, their second stage where they just got to monitor it more. Uh, Russia warns Lithuania over rail tr transit sanctions. Everybody's warning everybody o over everything. And European Union lawmakers stepped up the fight against global warning Wednesday by requesting deeper emission cuts from power, power plants and planes in the European Union and by endorsing an unprecedented import tax. The European Parliament advanced a draft climate legislation that would slash EU greenhouse gas emissions by 55% in 2030. 30 compared to 1990 rather than the previously agreed 40%. Oh yeah, guys, we're going to reach, no, 40? We're going to go for 50. Last week, 96% of people in the United States experienced nighttime temperatures more likely to occur due to uh, human-caused warming. It was horrible. More than 3,000 new daily high temperatures were reached in the lower 48 states last week. UK inflation, the United Kingdom Inflation hits 40-year high as 9.1% of food and energy price sites surge persists. More than half of the 1,000 adults surveyed by bank rate between June 3rd and June 5th, 2022, said they are concerned about the amount they have emergency savings up from 48% in 2021. Basically, no one has any money, okay, for emergency. We're all, we're tapped out. We're tapped out. Of those who were uncomfortable with emergency funds, 75% had no savings or enough to cover even three months. What do Europeans think of Jaeger bombs? Is that an American thing? I don't know. Who invented it? Ukraine and Moldova accepted as candidates to join EU, which I'm sure Russia is very happy about. Copper prices could surge a uh, impending recession. Copper fell below $4 per pound, down over 24% from the highs, which tells me recession risks have overtaken inflation risks, says Dave, risks, says Dave Rosenberg, founder of the Research Associates, blah. Stocks ended up higher on Friday. And a Cuban artist was arrested for nine years for defaming important people, and he hasn't even had a trial. Large copper mining 
moving forward in Arizona on top of Indian lands in name of national security because we need the copper to electrify the like the uh, electrify the, uh, the 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 transportation fleet, right? Because copper is in the name of national interest. Okay, a mass shooting in Oslo. Was it like ten people killed? And a new poll: seventy-five percent of Pennsylvanians, out of four hundred people interviewed, accept evidence of climate change and that global warming is happening. Great. We believe it's happening. Now what? That doesn't change anything. Biden will just keep shopping at. Walmart and go to Logan's Roadhouse. Biden said G7 will ban Russian gold imports and a missile hit an apartment building in Kyiv, which is pretty close in the capital. Trump, Miller, and MAGA wants to thank you for supporting Right to Life. Aww. And last but not least, we can't forget about monkeypox. It's likely bigger, more cases than we expect. 201 cases have been recorded in the United States and the outbreak is in more than 50 countries. Wow. Well, this has been your What's Happening in the World update, June 27th. My name is Reagan the Doom Wizard, coming back at you every week with the news that you need to hear to get your week going. Hit like and subscribe, share with your friends. Anyone who wants to know about what's happening, this is the place to be. I'll catch up with you guys later. Peace. <laughs>